Unfortunately, I am now confronted with another problem, which I would rather have done without. You see, last night, Miss Adams also went missing. I have had my people searching for her all over the island. Alas, to no avail. It so happens that both her mental and her physical health are extremely fragile. I'm worried that the same thing happened to her as to your mother. Also, I would appreciate it very much if you could tell me what you were doing on the floor in her room in the early hours of It's quite of the normal. Morning. I, I can explain everything. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear it. You see, Sir Gregory is about to arrive. And he's taken Elizabeth's disappearance very, very seriously. Please, reassure him so that we can talk about your mother. William, I would like to see you a moment before we begin. In private. Let's step outside a moment. Louis, this will only take a few moments. Take this chance to look around. Sit back down, Louis. This sort of behavior is not working in your favor, young man. Gregory, Louis told me we needn't be concerned. Of course. Monsieur de Richet, the situation seems to escape your grasp, so I won't beat about the bush. Did you kill Elizabeth Adams? What are you talking about? I, I only helped her. We talked and she wanted to leave. I, I imagine that's what she did, right? We have found no trace of her leaving, monsieur. So allow me to have my doubts. Nor have we found any reason to believe that Louis is lying. We must remain calm, Gregory. We have found no evidence that would suggest that Elizabeth has been murdered. For the time being, she has only disappeared. Let's stick to the facts, if you please. Well, where is she then? I'm not absolutely sure, but I'd wager she's gone to visit her sister. I beg your pardon? Good Lord! You, you mean Abigail? Yes, they've been keeping in touch by mail. Elizabeth always dreamt of meeting her. I wouldn't be surprised if she went to see her. Damnation, William. This is a fiasco. Sir, you don't seem to realize just how serious this is. Let's try and remain calm, Gregory. In any case, it would be far better if Elizabeth really has left the island, as Louis says. Why do you think she wanted to leave? She was persuaded she was going to die. When, when she saw that you had invited my mother, she thought that you wanted to put an end to her. She felt betrayed. But why didn't she speak to me about it? Elizabeth had nothing to fear from us. You know very well who she was afraid of, but you don't dare say. She was terrorized by my mother's presence here. Just the thought of coming face to face with her was unbearable. Did she tell you why? Yes, 
She brought the subject up. I'm sorry, Louis. It couldn't have been easy to hear. For your sake, I sincerely hope that she got there safely. Monsieur de Richer, I apologize if my words seemed a little abrupt. I dare not think what would happen if Elizabeth came across your mother on the island. Your generosity may well cost you dearly. I understand, my lord. I certainly regret it. You don't need us for any of this. So come along, Monsieur Peru. We are leaving. Right. It's time we spoke about your mother, Louis. She seems to be making every effort to steer clear of your guests. What, what do you mean? For the past few weeks, my mother's been playing cat and mouse, if you will. I don't know why, but it wouldn't surprise me to learn that she's trying to avoid someone. The question is, who? And in your opinion, would she be the cat or the mouse? I'd like to answer the cat, but unfortunately I'm increasingly worried that she's, in fact, the mouse. That doesn't make me feel any better, Louis. What was the official reason why my mother came to your island? I knew about your mother's activities and yours in the Golden Order. I thought we had everything to gain by working together. You mean the cannon deal with Monsieur Bonaparte? Among others, yes. How did you hear about that? Monsieur Bonaparte came to speak to me about it yesterday, during lunch. I see. So impetuous. He was supposed to let me speak to you about it first. Our friend Napoleon desperately needed financial backing to properly equip his army. I took it upon myself to back him, because I have a firm conviction that he can go far. We shall see. However, there's one thing that surprises me. Did my mother intend to finance a war? I'm not sure that I follow. No, your mother's aim was not so much to partake in a war, but rather to make Monsieur Bonaparte accountable. France is in turmoil, and having support of a military man can often come in handy, Louis. You'll see. Once this deal was closed, I had big plans for Sarah. Such as what? You see, I've invited several influential figures on my island to present them with a project at the conference. It will be presented later today. I thought that the Golden Order had a role to play. And I still think so. I was hoping Sarah would be able to join us. Hmm. I see. Indeed, if by chance your mother decided not to return to us before the conference, would you do me the great honor of attending? If only to follow the deliberations while waiting for her to duly take her seat. Why not? We shall see. Ah, thank you so much. In this way, you'll be able to keep your mother informed of what is said. Um, there's something else I'd like to briefly go over. Earlier, you asked me the official reason for your mother's presence here. Is there an off-the-record reason why your mother came here? If only my mother trusted me, but she remained very mysterious. I'd have been delighted to answer your question. Is this usual for her? As head of the Order, secrets are her bread and butter, as you can imagine. That said, it's the first time she hasn't let me in on the reason for her trip. And it intrigues me, to tell you the truth. Well, I am sure that Sarah will explain everything once she reappears. There's something I still don't get. In your opinion, why would your mother remain in hiding over several weeks? Her not coming back to the manor after so long makes me wonder if she is wary of someone. Well, certainly. But whom? The only ones who were present during her stay were Sir Gregory, Duchess Hillsborough, Mr. Von Volner, and myself. And what about Mr. Von Volner? Do you know him well? To be honest, not really. He's closer to Gregory. I'm not the one who invited him.
what I know of him, is what they say in high society salons. He's a man who manages to form alliances with the right people when it's necessary. As a minister of the church, he actively repressed the religions of the book and the spirit of the Enlightenment. And, if I'm not mistaken, he has a passion for alchemy. But then, I must admit, he is rather evasive and not very talkative, at least toward me. I'd like to have a word with him if I get the chance. He might be able to tell me more about my mother's last days with you. The only thing I can tell you is that Sarah had indeed changed. At the beginning of her stay here, we enjoyed spending time together, solving the world's problems. You seem to know my mother very well, my lord. What did you talk about together? Oh, as soon as we had a little free time, we liked to share points of view about practically any subject. We would find ourselves embarked on interminable discussions that could go from Monsieur Blanchard's flight in a hot air balloon to the Treaty of Jesse, or the adoption of the metric system in France last year, or even Mr. Eli Whitney's invention in the United States. armistice between the Russians and the Turks. Russia's come out of it having officially won Crimea, which gives it direct access to the Black Sea. And, at the same time, the Mediterranean Sea. I'm worried about the decisions Sarina Catherine might decide to take. She's a woman who managed to get rid of her husband to accede to the upper reaches of power. Gaining access to the Mediterranean Sea remains her main objective. When she still had that dear Potemkin as her lover, I could always find out about her intentions, but those days are over. You're speaking of Grigory Alexandrovich Potemkin? The very man. The little devil behind the mother of all Russians. Since his death, I know absolutely nothing of what the Tsarina is up to. Oh, really? Ah, yes. I didn't mean to shock you. Please forgive me. Let's just say that, in my position, it is often advantageous to know about the habits and customs of world leaders. I'm surprised she didn't get you started on the Crusades. It was her favorite subject. <laughs> Are you joking? Sarah and I spent entire days together reliving them. It so happens that the Crusades are also my subject of predilection, especially the Third. My ancestor distinguished himself brilliantly during the siege of Saint-Jean d'Acre. Mother lulled my childhood with tales of the Crusades. How Richard the Lionheart and Philip Augustus had to battle it out to achieve their ends. And how Guy de Lusignan, having broken his word, launched the siege of Saint-Jean d'Acre. Oh, I see Sarah's lessons have inspired new enthusiasts. Good on you, because not everyone can claim they know as much at your age. Your mother is a very well-read woman. You're quite lucky to have her as a model, Louis. Yes, I know. But I'm still very worried. I must admit, there are worse things to worry about now, Louis. What do you mean? Since she disappeared, your mother has been seen once. Her behavior on the evening of your arrival greatly surprised Gregory and myself. She resurfaced to attack Emma, Emily Hillsborough's twin sister and she shot her with a pistol. Then, before Gregory could intervene, she ran off and disappeared again. I beg your pardon? Hang on. That means my vision on the wharf, it was actually happening inside the manor. Mother shot Emily's sister? The very person she came looking for? Why would she do that? Excuse me, but between that and the childhood of Lady Adams, it's, it's all a bit much for me to cope with. I need to piece it all together again to see things more clearly. You said that you spent a lot of time talking together at the beginning. What happened for that to change? I'm afraid I, I haven't much to tell you. The more the days went by, the more she withdrew into herself. She never gave me an explanation. Until the day came when she purely and simply disappeared. Where, where did she go when she wanted to be alone? 
She would shut herself away in a room we use as a box room upstairs. W would you allow me to go there? Naturally, Louis, of course. I'll send you a servant to open it. Thank you. That's all I can tell you about the disappearance of your mother, Louis. I would like to have been more helpful. I shall stay on her trail and follow up any leads. Thank you. Uh, we will meet later on to welcome our last guest. In the meantime, I shall get someone to open the box room upstairs for you. Thank you. Hmm. The room is just opposite Mortimer's study.